Welcome to the last video of our little animated series. We went through how to use the basic animations API in React Native that are available in React Native to first uh, use the layout animation to, to dynamically show transitions between simple state changes. Then we learned how to use Pan Responder to drag components around. And in the last video, we used the animated API to toggle the style of an element in a smooth way. In our case, we changed the opacity to make the component disappear. Now, I would like to show you what we can do combining all this stuff together. Because a lot of animations, m most of the animations that we, that we use in the mobile applications can be deconstructed into simple components and like put together. Even though they are not just small opacity changes because there is movement involved at the same time, then we can just combine a few basic animations and play them at the same time to get really sophisticated effects. In our case, we want to remove a few of those messages and to be able to use the button to relo that reloads data. So when you push it, apart from the new messages appearing, we can see a little Samuel Jackson icon flying around, right? The way it's implemented, it's just using animated API and the simple rules that we learned in the previous video. Here we have our button class. It has some kind of Samuel icon, which basically is just an animated image with some fancy style. Those styles are all based, based on interpolated values. Uh, we have, in the beginning, we define a few animated variables with different values. To start with, they are gonna be responsible for changes of opacity and the horizontal and vertical offsets, scaling and rotation. I'm not gonna explain all of them one by one. I will just give you Take one as an example to show you to show you something. So, for example, the rotation is just an animated timing that uses the animated rotate variable. Uh, it has some kind of duration that we declared before because we want all the animations to to take the same amount of time. But it goes just to math random. It just doesn't go from zero to one it goes from 0 to 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, whatever we get from the random, as the random value. The reason is that we want our animation to be a little bit random. We don't want it to always rotate 360 degrees, just like some random value. But the question is how we translate a numerical value from 0 to 1 to degrees that we use for rotation. Turns out that React Native is pretty smart into figuring out the ranges. For rotation, we define an input range that goes from 0 to 1, but we tell it to trans that it will translate to 0 degrees to 360 degrees. So here, these are just strings, but those are special values that React Native knows how to interpolate between. So we can see that, for example, the horizontal offset translates almost literally and the opacity translates in a reverse order while here we translate between a string value to a string value. Those are special values that, that React Native knows how to interpolate, which is, which is really interesting. Another thing that I wanted to show you here is the way we chain all those animations together. We're using animated parallel to launch all those applications animations at the same time because we want the same thing all those things happen at the same time it should fly around scale and rotate but we could also do use animated sequence or animated order to either launch them one by one so as the first animation finishes the second one starts and and so on and so on or for example launch them every 100 milliseconds the animations could 
take different times, like each each one a, a different a, has a different can have a different duration, but it will trigger them every hundred milliseconds or two hundred or whatever value we would tell them to to use. However, in our our case, like launching them all at the same time is the best. Uh, is what we wanted. As you can see, the animated API can be used also for a more a bit more sophisticated animations and usually it should cover most of your most of your needs. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Brain Picks. Our aim here is to share tips, technologies and ideas that will help you deliver better applications faster. Just a quick reminder that if you want our help to take your development team to the next level, you can hire us to help you work smarter. We offer trainings, coaching and development both on site in Barcelona or Berlin or remotely. Also, you should probably check out our other video channel, No Brainers, where we offer actionable tips how to improve your soft skills. Finally, like, share and enjoy our upcoming videos. See you soon. Uh -huh.